no, right. someone asks, does the procedure generate results that make it all worth it in the end? I mean, right. that's, a, that's an excellent question and, and that's um, very subjective, but I think it starts with having certain expectations. And if the expectations are realistic, then I think that the satisfaction rates are high. Right. But if, if the expectation is that it's going to be extremely full, then it's, it's easy to be set up for disappointment. You know what I mean? Because it's not cheap. Yeah. So, it, it, you know, you got to be. But right. that's, a, that's a great question someone asked. So it's, it's not, I would say, it, it's actually the growth itself is actually quite strong. I mean, the, the percentage of hairs that grow is very, very good. Mm -hmm. It's typically not worse than the scalp, right? Because usually we take from the back of the head and we put it in the front, right? Right. For people who have kind of male pattern uh, baldness. Now, for the beard, it's a similar sort of process, but for certain parts of the beard, a little bit more predictable than other areas. So like the central area is actually less predictable in growth rate compared to the sides. The sides grow out, right. you know, okay. It's just, again, it's a matter of density. Can we pack in enough right, hairs right. to give you, you know, like a nice change? And right. I think it's doable. It's just, uh, you know, got to factor that all of this in together. I see what you're saying. Okay.